<clears throat> excuse me. Good Friday evening, everybody. Uh, Flywheel's here with another edition of our affordable group breaks. And just give me a second here. These cords are not wanting to cooperate. Hey, good evening, Joseph. Did your wife have the feed all ready to go for you when you got home from work? Got a thumbs up and we hadn't even started yet. <clears throat> hey, Mark. Um, no, I have not, um, but uh, I should have time to do that this weekend. I think it's supposed to be kind of rainy, at least tomorrow here, so I will uh, more than likely, I'll get that opened, and like I said, I'll probably do a, I'll probably do that on video, just because I haven't done that in a while, <clears throat> but yeah, I I'm, I'm anxious. I'm anxious to open it. <clears throat> so this ought to be a fun break, a, a nice variety of items. I'm going to throw this up uh, link up on YouTube real quick on YouTube on Twitter so hang tight real quick All right, <clears throat> so we will do, before we break the authority box, we will random off the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, it's a long shot that we'll pull a pull holes or that the graded card is a pull holes rookie, but none the same or nonetheless, we'll, um, we'll probably do this one last. But like I said, we'll random. Um, I've got everything all loaded up and ready to go, but uh, we'll random off um, that um, team and and then we'll open that box. So I guess we'll just go in chronological order by year. So we'll start with Don Russ uh, or the Studio 95 Studio. 
and then moved to tops and then rounded out with the 2001 FLIR Authority. Sound good? All right. <clears throat> well, we got, looks like got about five people here. We, we always have a couple stragglers that, that come in. Um, I do have my little list handy. So I know who got who or in Joseph's case, which half the box did he claim? <laughs> Except for studio, because I think I'm, I don't know who was more excited that I found these studio boxes, me or Joseph, because this is a set that I've been working on the gold set, the insert for a while. And I'm, and I'm pretty, well, there's only a handful that I need. But, you know, I thought I've got a thing for 95. So I thought, you know what, let's just go for the base set. And while we're at it, why not go for the platinum? So instead of reducing some of the teams that initially weren't, didn't have a lot of interest, I thought, you know what, instead of knocking them down to two bucks or whatever, I'm just going to keep them myself. So if you wanted them, you had a chance to get them. But now is my turn. But yeah, we can, uh, I'll definitely be trading any duplicates that I have um, from, from this box. So, uh, Joseph or anybody else, if you're interested, and then just let me know. Hey, good evening, John. Thanks for jumping in uh, on the breaks this week, and thanks for subscribing to the channel. I, I, I got that notification earlier tonight that you uh, that you subscribed, so thank you. All right, well, let's move these others out of the way. And, you know, it dawned on me last night after or last week after it was too late. We didn't give anything away last week. So in between boxes, we'll we'll get back to that. We'll do some drawings and give away some stuff. This is my way of saying thank you for for joining in. So first up, 1995 Studio. There are 36 packs per box. I thought it was 24, but uh, 36 packs per box. Um, I don't remember how many cards per pack, but there is a gold or platinum um, in each pack. This is the first time I have ever opened 95 Studio. I've had a handful of cards, but I've never opened it myself. And until I started, you know, this is one of those things that it, it hasn't really been on my radar until recently. And then when I started looking for it, it, I noticed that it was hard to find, that it didn't show up, that there didn't seem to be a lot of sealed boxes on the net which is funny because you know studio tried something different in 95 obviously the years prior to this and we've seen it because we've opened some early studio here you know they're all black and they were black and white they were posed images and some people liked them some people didn't 93 studio is another one of my favorites um, in this brand. <clears throat> I just think they took it up a notch for the posed photos, but they tried something different with 95 with the whole credit card 
um, design. And then of course the gold and the platinums are plastic cards um, to mimic the credit card design even more, rounded corners, embossed um, letters and numbers on the front. And I always thought they were cool because they were different. Um, then again, I like 95 Fleer because it's different. They tried something different with the different design for each division and whatnot. Just like 95 Fleer was kind of a bust with a lot of collectors, this is, that's kind of how 95 Studio was. <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of a shame. It's kind of a shame, but uh, they that that it wasn't more accepted um, than it is. But you know, not everybody likes it when things up. But I like it when they're willing to try different things. So kudos to Don Russ for trying something different with Studio in 1995. <clears throat> uh, it's a 200 card set. No rookies in this set. But we've got a good selection of players from the time. Some Hall of Famers. And then, like I said, there are the gold insert set is 50 cards, while the platinum are 25 cards. <clears throat> hey, good evening. We got Matt, and we got Mark here, Johnny, Rick. Speaking of Rick, before we get started, and hey, speak of the devil, we were talking about 95 Fleer. I was talking about baseball, but it extended to football as well. Just wanted to say thank you to Rick um, publicly, say um, for the uh, Kevin Green 95 Fleer uh, football. Oh, I just realized it's got the Sunoco the shell logo on the back. So Rick, did you know if, is this a, excuse me, I, I don't know all my football quite as well, good as I do baseball, but is this, I don't think this is from the, from the regular 95 Fleer. I guess this is uh they did a shell. Um, I said Sunoco, uh, I guess shell did a set in 95. I, that's even better. So thank you, Rick, for sending that my way. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it because we got a lot of packs to, to bust. I'll do my best to save a couple wrappers for you forever who, for whoever wants one. So we're starting it off with a Kansas City Royal, Greg Gagne. And so you can see the, the base design there. You do have a little hollow foil um, box there with the team logo in it to mimic the MasterCard or Visa. And it's got some 94 stats, their player position, MLB member since, and their birth date. So kind of cool. And of course, you've got either the AL or the NL logo kind of in the background. Back of the card, you've got your faux magnetic strip. You've got your uh, uh, authorized signature. So you got your facsimile signature there. Got a little bit of a write up. And then you've got a uh, career stat line there as well. And of course, a different image on the left side of the card. Alrighty, so that's what we're dealing with here. So we have Gagne. Well, they're going to be flipped all up, all around. 
We have Barry Alarton for the Reds. Kenny Lofton for the Indians. Ricky Vitalico for the Phillies. And then our gold card, Kirby Puckett. And it's basically, a, I believe it's a parallel of the base cards, except, again, these are printed on plastic, rounded corners, and then all of the font and everything is raised. Of course, these are 50. The gold is 50. So very, very cool. We've got Derek Bell for the Astros, Tim Raines for the White Sox, Armando Benit, uh, Benitz, the Orioles. Yep. So there's our Kirby, there's our base, and the gold. So you can see there they are pretty much the same card with their differences. And a gold Randy Johnson for the Mariners. Gagney. Maybe it was. Scott Erickson for the Twins. Checklists. Cal Ripken, Randy Johnson's vase, and Juan Gonzalez, gold. We have Midray Cummings for the Pirates. Jimmy Key for the Yankees. And two Pirates in the same pack. John Lieber. Oh, we got a big hurt. Base. And Greg Jeffries for the Phillies. Goes to John. Lance Johnson of the White Sox. Mark McGuire, A's. Dennis Martinez for the Indians. Hal Morris, Reds. And a fellow Red, Deion Sanders. Have John Doherty for the Tigers, Jose Canseco, Red Sox, Jeff Kent for the Mets, Ruben Sierra, A's, Wade Boggs, Yankees, Gold. Wade Boggs, Yankees. Dean Palmer for the Rangers. Got a Ricky Henderson, Athletics. Greg Vaughn for the Brewers. And Delgado for the Blue Jays. Looks like we got a Roberto Alomar, Blue Jays, Roger Clemens, Red Sox. This is our first Cub, Steve Traxel, Paul Molitor, Blue Jays, and uh, here's our first Platinum, Kirby Puckett.
Nice. I think the Platinums were like 1 in 10, if I'm not mistaken. There's a Manny for the Indians. But Doug Drayback for the Astros. Bernie Williams for the Yankees. Will Cordero for the Expos. And a Raul Mondesi gold for the Dodgers. Yeah, Joseph, I had to check that one. I'm so used to you getting them, the Mets, or the Mets, the Twins. Alan Watson for the Cardinals. I believe that's the first Cardinals player we've seen. Jose Rijo for the Reds. Sean Dunstan, Cubs. Wally Joyner, the Royals. And we got a gold Cecil Fielder for the Tigers. Good evening, Shaw Racing Collects. Next pack, Matt. Is it Miski? Correct me if I'm wrong there, Mark. Is that your team? Roberto Kelly for the Expos. Galarraga for the Rockies. Ellis Burks for the Rockies. And a gold, Alex Rodriguez. Will Clark, Rangers. Charles Johnson for the Fish. Well, we got a Griffey sighting. Here's our Griffey base. Rick Aguilera for the Twins. And a Lenny Dykstra for the Phillies. Yeah, I, I was about to say the same thing that Roberto Kelly and a and a uh, Expos uniform looked really odd. I know he made it around to several teams later in his career, but I don't remember the Expos being one of those. Walt Weiss for the Rockies. Albert Bell, Indians. Andahar Sedeno. For the Padres, Joe Carter, Blue Jays, and Roberto Alomar, Blue Jays. Travis Fryman, Tigers. John Jaha for the Brewers. Here's my first Brave, Tipper Jones. 1994 stats, injured, did not play. Kevin Stocker for the Phillies and a Delgado Gold. Bip Roberts. Oh, there's your Don Mattingly. At least, at least we got the base there. See what we can do about the others. We have Chuck Carr for the Marlins. Steve Carse for the A's. And a Roger Clemens gold for the Sox. For the Red Sox. We have Joey Hamilton for the Padres. Mike Greenwell for the Red Sox. TP Marlins. Royce Clayton for the Giants. And a Galarraga Gold.
Al Martin, Pirates, Eric Caros, Dodgers, Matt Williams for the Giants, A Rod, and another Dykstra Gold. Oh, got a platinum. Let's go ahead and look at it. Platinum is Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. And Jeffrey Hammonds for the Orioles. Steve Fenley stuck to it there. Chili Davis for the Angels and Tony Phillips for the Angels. So that is the first half of the box. Moises Alou, Expose, Steve Avery, Braves, Alex Fernandez, White Sox, Jack McDowell for the Yankees, and a Mike Piazza. Gold. David McCarty, Twins. Todd Zeal, Cardinals. Rico Brogna. The Mets, Deion Sanders for the Reds, and a Bob Hamlin gold for the Royals. Ryan Thompson for the Mets. Mike Messina, Orioles. Dave Hollins for the Phillies. Kevin Seitz are for the Brewers, and we got a Don Mattingly gold. All right, Joseph, your night's done. You got your Mattingly gold. Dykstra. Like uh, uh, Brian McRae for the Cubs, Orlando Merced, Pirates, Cal Eldred for the Brewers, and a Gold Messina. Well, if the Platinums fall one in ten, then we should see one more. Before we finish this box out, here's a Pedro for the Expos, followed by Eddie Murray, the Indians, Sammy Sosa for the Cubs, Pat Listash for the Brewers, and Ozzy Smith, the Wizard himself. And we got a platinum, so right on average. William Van Landingham for the Giants. Bobby Jones Mets, Juan Gonzalez Rangers. Move on for the Red Sox. And our third platinum is Matt Williams. And these have a speckly, it's a speckly, kind of, not quite glittery, but uh, the silver use. It's actually, actually really nice looking. The gold stand out more since the base cards are already silver. But the platinums are nice. 
Next up, we have Scott Cooper for the Cardinals, followed by a Larry Walker for the Rockies. But Rick Wilkins for the Cubs, Dave Nielsen for the Brewers, and Jeff Bagwell for the Astros. Brett Boone, Reds, Chanho Park, Dodgers, Bob Hamlin, Royals, John Olaru, Blue Jays, Sean Green, Gold. Brett Butler starts off our next pack for the Mets. Followed by Steve Cook for the Pirates. We have Lou Whitaker for the Tigers. Lewis R. Whitaker Jr. Jeff King for the Pirates. And a gold Frank Thomas. Nice. I could have some music playing to break up the quietness, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. Brian Hunter for the Astros. There's our Tony Gwynn base. Cliff Floyd for the Expos and a Travis Fryman Gold. I don't have any public domain music. Terry Steinbach for the A's. Wilson Alvarez, White Sox. Man, look at that signature from Mr. Dante Bichette. Edgar Martinez and nice, Tony Gwynn Gold. Like a Chris Gomez for the Tigers, Dennis Eckersley for the A's, Chad Curtis for the Tigers, Tino Martinez for the Mariners, and a Cliff Floyd Gold. Craig Biggio for the uh, Astros. Rob Beck. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Ozzy, Allen, and our gold is Matt Williams. So I think we hit the trifecta on Williams. Let's see if we'll beat the odds and get another platinum. Mr. Barry Bonds, Darren Dalton, you got a good head of hair, man. Carlos Delgado, Harold Baines, and a gold Biggio flashing the peace sign. Bagwell's base, followed by Carlos Garcia for the Pirates, David Cohn, Blue Jays, Ray Langford, Cardinals, and Galarraga Gold. Robbie Thompson for the Giants, Chuck Finley 
or the our angels. And I just read somewhere Chuck Finley's wife at the time was on the cover of uh, the uh, the old hair metal band Rat. Um, their uh, one of their albums from the from the cellar or something like that that it was called. I think uh, I think somebody on Beans Ball Card blog, I think he they had posted that in the comments. Uh, he was opening a fat pack of uh, ninety three Fleer on his YouTube channel the other day. I think that's where I saw that comment. But our Gilkey Cardinals, Brian Anderson, and we have a another platinum crime dog McGriff. Sorry, not sorry. Two more packs. Oh, he, Tony, Tony Catan. I didn't realize he was, that's who he was married to. I'm familiar with her on the, uh, from the black, uh, white snake video. John Valentine, Cecil Fielder, Billy Ashley for the Dodgers, Rusty Greer. Ah, and here's Crime Dogs Gold. Final pack. You write something, Joseph? Sure, go ahead. Jeffries. Eyes again for the Sox. Danny Tartable, Yankees. Ken Hill for Cardinals. And our final gold is Rafael Palmero for the Orioles. So I have to say the collation was actually pretty good. We didn't get a whole lot of doubles from the base set. And I believe... We only got a couple doubles of the gold. These cards, by the way, do not want to stack flat. My stack looks like it's, it's leaning because of the raised numbers, especially, especially the gold. You can see how they're a little lopsided. But yeah, we did. We got a lot of the good names, at least in the base set. And then of the Platinums, we got McGriff, Matt Williams, Juan Gonzalez, and Kirby Puckett. So not too shabby, not too shabby. All right. <clears throat> How many we got here tonight? Still with us. We got eight people. So we lost a few from when we started. But pick a number between one and eight. And we'll roll the die. Matthew's in with five. Johnny's in with six. Mark's in with two. Rick, six has already been taken if you want to pick another one. We're going with the Marvel die tonight. All right, Joseph's going with Thanos. Rick is in with four. John is in with three.
five, six, two, three, four, and five. Goes to Ben Morris. And Joseph took Thanos. Nope. Ben retracted his message. He's in with seven. Five, six, two, three, four, seven, and Thanos. The Mad Titan himself. Final answer. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and roll then. All right. First one is 10. First roll is 10. We said between one and eight. Seven. Ben. He's our lucky winner. It's envelope number seven. Well, we'll open that in just a second. I'm gonna prepare another number seven envelope just in case. We need it for the next roll. Guess in hindsight, I should probably have a couple pre-made beforehand. All right, so let's see what Ben gets. A Miguel Cabrera, Diamond Kings. This is one of the, uh, I forget what you call them, serially numbered. This is from 2016. Number 227 of 330 is numbered to his batting average in 2015. Nice. That's right. Season stat. I just cannot think of the darn name. The uh, top loader does have a little bit of scotch tape residue on there. Sorry about that. I didn't do it. No, that's all our pet peeves. So there you go. All righty. Let's move right along. <clears throat> To the jumbo box of 1997 tops series two where we had uh, Barry Bonds and Willie Mays were the poster childs this series had the Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle finest and finest refractor reprints and uh, if you're on Twitter you probably know Shane Salmison uh, he also does his uh, box breaks, what he started on his blog, but now writes for Beckett. He quickly grabbed the, the Yankees and the Giants in this break, strictly for those inserts. And it's funny that this one, that there was so much interest in this product. I could have got another box of it. Um, I went back to my little oddball shop this week. 
and uh, it's actually where that's cool. The the image continues there on the box flap, but um, one of next week's boxes comes courtesy of that same shop. There wasn't as much to choose from this week for this visit. The design for 97 leaves a little bit to be desired in my in my opinion as well. Um, it's, you know, flagship tops. So I figured, you know what, can't go that wrong. 40 cards. 12 packs. I had to double check. 12 packs. These are the hobby versions. Um, there are several different inserts. There are uh, a season's best, excuse me, card inserted in every pack. I did not realize that. There was also a chance at a Derek Jeter auto. And of course the aforementioned finest and finest refractor reprints of Willie Mays and Mickey Mantle. There are inserts, which are really cool wood grain um, cards. And then there are Hobby Masters, which are exclusive to Hobby Product. Mantle Finest, one and six. Maze Finest, one and four. Team Timber, one and eight. Hobby Masters, one and eight. Refractor of Maze, one and 48. Mantle Refractor, one and 60. Packs containing Hobby Masters will contain one less card. And that is because they are th printed on thicker card stock. Does not give any odds are let's see i take that back the Derek jeter is one in 330 packs so that's actually not too bad of odd so let's get started good luck everybody Sorry about that. Is that better? All right, we got a little bit of brick in here. I was afraid of that. So, if you're not familiar with the design, kind of simple. Card back. So we have Mears, Pat Mears for Twins. We have Steve Wojciechowski. I believe that's how you pronounce it, for the A's. Shane Reynolds, Astros. These aren't super glossy, so hopefully they won't damage the cards stuck together. Kenny Lofton there for the Indians. Daryl Kyle for the Astros. I'm about to maybe try to flex some of the packs. Otherwise, this is going to take forever. Kurt Manwaring, Houston. Yeah. Got a twin on the back here, Matt Lawton.
Cecil Fielder. That's an interesting photo. Someone like him known for his bat, not the his prowess on the base path. So it's kind of cool. You get a, a different image there of Felder. <clears throat> Here's Bartolo Colon, Jason Isringhausen, Brad Osmus, Mike James, Angels, Ariel Preto, Athletics, Scott Brocious, Athletics. Man. That's the only thing about these 90s cards. Terry Pendleton. And first pack. Got a Willie Mays. Off centered, just but. Was this a 1970 tops? You'll have to forgive me. I don't I have a hard time looking at older tops designs and knowing off the top of my head what design or what year that is. All right, so the season's best that is one per box or one per pack, excuse me. a guy that I seem to pull a lot of cards of from this time frame. There's Mr. Chuck Knobloch, but unfortunately it did leave some of the top card on it. I apologize for that. Prospects, Jimmy Anderson, Ron Blazer, and Gerald Witowski Jr. So we'll have to flip a coin or something to <clears throat> random those since there are three there. Matt Williams, John Olaru, other prospects, Darren Blood of the Giants, Heath Murray of the Padres, Carl Pavano of the Red Sox. The latter is the only one I've heard of. Here's a Mr. Cal Ripken. Draft picks, Chris Benson and Billy Cock. Or Cooch or something like that. Lyle Mouton, White Sox, John Lawrence and Pete Tucci, draft picks for the Blue Jays. There's Rick Aguilera, Ugeth Urbina, Alan Benez, Rookie Cup. Cardinals. Uh, I'm dang this. This sucks. Gerald Williams for the Brewers. There's just no good way to do this. Mark Newfield, Brewers, Jeff Montgomery, Royals, Jeff Reed, Rockies, Robin Ventura, there's a Griffey base, Keith Lockhart, Royals, Devin White or Devon White, 
Rick Cravita, Cravetta. Chipper Jones. Jermaine Allensworth, Pirates. Orlando Merced, Pirates. All right, so, man. Yeah, brick, brick happens. That is true, but dang, it sucks. The guy that I, the card, the shop that I got these from, obviously it's all it's old stock, and that's what makes me wonder what the heck else he has. But it's a climate controlled warehouse that he has them all in. It's not like these have been sitting in some hot, musty warehouse somewhere. He runs a candy store, so he has to have climate control. It just, you know, that's again, that's the risk of buying old wax like this. I know we all know it, but it doesn't make it much better. So, all right. This is going to take a long time if we go card by card. I like to go card by card because a lot of us are here for base. But... How do y'all want me to do this? I know it's not all that interesting sitting here watching me peel cards apart. So you tell me, do you, do you want to kind of want me to kind of thumb through them for the highlights? To look at the insert that's in each pack. How do y'all y'all tell me what you want to do? I got them loosened up a little bit here. So there's Servius. I do like these 96 season. It's got a, the, the circle here is glossy, whereas you've got a matte finish to the rest of the card. So you got Eddie Murray, 500th home run. So Paul Molitor, 300th hit, twins. Carlos Barriga, move on, Al Leiter. Vizcaino, Moises Alou, Ooh, Brian Jordan, Manny Ramirez. A nice between the legs photo there of Lenny Dykstra. That did not sound the way I meant it. Kevin Gross. Kind of Willie Mays. Another one. 64. <laughs> yep, you had it spot on. All right, let's see. Can I? We got a Mets season's best here, Lance Johnson. Let's see if I can flex it loose from this prospects card. Here we go. Little still has a couple little snowflaking there. Ah. This car got it even worse though. Nelson Figueroa, Mark Redmond, and Mike Bolano, Mets, Twins, and Giants. 
Never heard of them. Al Martin. It's a raise. Dual card. Draft picks. Eric Chavez. Adam Eaton. Danny Peoples and Jake Westbrook draft picks. It's between the Indians and Rockies. Erickson, Matheny, Oliver, Setzer, Jamie Moyer, Ruben Sierra as a tiger. Huh. Another tiger. Barty, Lavon Hernandez, Javi Lopez, Sammy, Danny Graves. Vladimir Guerrero, Randy Johnson, Walt Weiss. Some good images. Just the design. Chad Curtis, Dodgers, and Stan Javier. Did Jake Westbrook go on to do anything in the majors? John or is it one of those trades that really came back to bite the team in the butt or mm. There's a Reynolds, Lofton, Heathcliff Slocum. Love that name. Supan, Man Waring, Lawton. Man. Just doesn't matter what I seem to do. It's hard to flex a brick like this. Jose Rio. David Cohn, another Cologne, Isringhausen, Brad Osmus, Mark Lewis, Mike James, Ariel Preto, Scott Brosius, Terry Pendleton. All right, season's best is going to be an Albert Bell for the Indians. I'm afraid I'm afraid these these cards I mean look at that look how look how much of a how these cards are sticking together wish I could do something about it ripped in And 
Andrew Jones. It just, like I said, a 40 cards per pack. Uh, it's just it's hard to hard to flex it. Yeah, Matthew, have you tried the the free? Have you th tried throwing them in the freezer? I haven't done the microwave trick. <laughs> done the freezer trick, and it didn't seem to help. Uh, I had a box of ninety five or was it ninety six Pacific Crown Collection. I pulled a nice gold prism Griffey. And it's got snowflaking right down the middle of the card. Every, just about every, probably out of each pack, there might have been one or two cards that I could salvage. Oh, yeah. I know all about 93 Upper Deck. I've got a box of Series 1 that I don't think I'm going to even bother opening for a couple of reasons. One, because of the breaking issue. But two, because I'll never be able to get Series 2 with the prices that they go for. Ninety-four score is which was the year that score had that dark blue border. Ninety ninety-four, I think. I've got a jumbo box of that, and man, I'm just well. We got a number. You can see that curve right there. Let's just jump to it. Rafael Palmero. Man, look at the curve on that. Look at that. One of my Twitter followers posted that they picked up a uh, Team Timber card the other day, and I asked him if it was curled. He said no, which surprised me because just about all the ones I see come like this. Yeah, that, that 94, man, that was a brutal set. So tell you what, guys. I, it's going to, we've got a ton of cards here. I'm going to go to the middle of each pack to see what the insert is. And then I'm going to unbrick these off camera. I, I just, it's going to take forever. And it's already 1115 my time. We still have another box to go, which that one won't take very long, but I, you know, it's, this is what's happening to all the cards that are sticking to the season's best, which is a shame because these are kind of they kind of nice cards. So if y'all are cool with that, hopefully you guys trust me. I'm not going to jip you out of anything. I just. Just frustrating. So when I go to sort these, I'll take my time. 
it'll be a little bit easier off camera. Anyhow, I can, I can take my time sort uh, separating these a little bit more. Got a mantle finest. These, those cards come out unscathed. Rival All Stars, Mantle and Boyer. Ken Boyer. Yep, those protectors. What year is this? Someone tell me what year is that uh, reprint? What design? Every one of the season's best comes butt to butt with these prospect cards. And these prospect cards do have a texture to them. So I'm wondering if that's, if it was up against another card, if it would do better sorting or separating these things. But unfortunately, everyone, same thing. Getting those flaking right down the middle. Man, oh boy, 1960. Anybody here in the video alive in 1960? one of those highlights, Todd Hundley. Rick says, yep. Uh-oh. We got a Frank Thomas. Andrew's going to be mad if it doesn't come out unscathed. I know it. Not too bad. But yeah, it's these prospect cards on every single one that's getting it. All right, moving on. Well, what I got planned next week should not be bricking like this. So at least we have that to look forward to. <laughs> uh, this is so frustrating. There's a Paul Canerco prospects, Derek Lee. And Ron Wright, he was big in the Braves organization, I believe, before getting traded. So some of the base cards should be fine, because like I said, I can take a little bit more time to separate them. Season's best is a mid, uh, excuse me, Ellis Burks. Rockies. A 
brick and gum and cans will be in the song. Maybe I should just stop while I'm ahead. Brady Anderson, again, st stuck. Oh, got a refractor. You can see a refractor. And it looks like a Team Timber. Team Timber, Gary Sheffield. So, Marcus, I know he started the night with us. Don't know if he's still here, but that's one of the teams he had grabbed for a dollar in the closeout special to fill the break tonight. And he got a hit. So, congratulations. And maybe it wasn't a refractor. Mantle. Oh. Two in one pack. There, I, I knew I saw a shine. That's pretty nice. If I do say so myself, he yeah, happens labeled as a refractor. What design is this? Killing me, Smalls. Well, dang. This Tom Goodwin season's best. That one just peeled right off. So, good for for Matthew, even the prospects card underneath. I mean, there's like one little white spot, but I don't know. I didn't really, maybe because of that refractor. I don't know. We had the mantle. Now we're following it up with a maze. Uh oh, we got a Griffey. It's a Griffey season's best. Do I dare try to separate it now or wait? 
But I can try the hair. Oh, sorry about that. I can try the hair dry hair dryer trick. Blow some air on it while I try to separate it. Nice Willie Mays. Move on is the season's best insert. Last brick, or I mean last pack. Hobby Masters, Mike Piazza. Okay, that one came off good. That's a little bit of relief. This one went to BB cards. Mike Messina, instead of going around the edges, I just kind of went, just kind of peeled it right back, and that came off a little bit better. So maybe that's what I need to try to do for some of these. So maybe I can salvage these uh, seasons best that I haven't fully separated. All right, so I will work on these over the weekend and I will do my best to unbrick these. Got a lot of base cards, but unfortunately some of these prospects that were piggyback to the season's best inserts are trash. But, like I said, I'll do what I can to salvage as many as I can. But, it looks like the real winner here, at least in terms of non-screwed up cards. It's going to be Shane with all these reprints. It's Willie Mays. So we got one, two, three, uh, four Mays, two mantles, and a refractor mantle. We got the nice Hobby Masters. Two Team Timbers, Gary Sheffield, Rafael Palmero. And then we've got a bunch of these shiny Seasons Best, but unfortunately, most of them have snowflaking going on, except for this Tom Goodwin. That's probably in the best shape. Again, really nice cards. All right. So let's do, while I pick up a little bit here, why don't we do another drawing? And then we'll get into the, we'll do the random for the Cardinals for the authority box. So 
Still have eight people hanging on. Got another thumbs up to the video. Thank you to whoever did that. Let's go again. Pick a number between one and eight. Three, two, four, Thanos. All right. Matthew changed his from two to five. Ben's in with number one. All righty. Give it another second or two. Three, two, four. Five and one plus Thanos have been claimed. Going once. Going twice. And it's time to roll. Good luck. Number two. Mark, you had two first. Envelope number two. Drum roll. Baseball. It's Don Russ. It's shiny. You got a Pete Alonzo lime green prism from Donruss Optic. 2020 Optic to be precise. I hear his bat is finally starting to come to life a little bit. this last stack of cards out of the way. All right, let me figure out the best way to do this. I don't know how well this is going to come across. <laughs> I guess I should have done it on my phone. But we're going to roll two dice to see how many times we randomize the list. So we're going to randomize it six times. And I already have everybody added to the list. So every team you purchased... In the Fleer Authority break, get you one entry. Patrick was, he's one of our resident Cardinals fans. Just bought up everything. <laughs> bought up everything trying to get as many slots as he could for the Reds or for the Cardinals. All right, so. Yeah, I always have a ton of tabs open on my computer. A lot of our work tabs still. I just haven't shut my everything down. So 
we're going to randomize this list six times. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ben, wow, you, you beat the odds. Ben is the winter, win, winter, winner. <laughs> winner of the uh, Cardinals. All right. This is this is one of those, I guess, retail blasters from the early 2000s. It's only five packs, um, and there's a one graded pack um, per per box. Um, I, I I don't know much about this set, um, but it uh, came across my radar the other day, and I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be something interesting uh, interesting to do. The only thing I know about this set is the Diamond Cuts um, memorabilia cards. That's actually a game use set that I've slowly been working on building myself because it's got a good mixture of game used jerseys, game used, game used pants, gloves, hats, shoes, bats. And I like that. I like a variety of, of game used stuff. Um, actually, I had a Jeter pants card come in the mail uh, either yesterday or today. You want to start, Carl, start calling me winter? <laughs> uh, I don't care what y'all call me. Had to pause my game of Resident Evil 2 this evening once the kids got home. I thought I'd go downstairs and resume the game tonight, but I don't know. I may have to push that off until tomorrow. All righty. Okay, it's not even not even in a anything. It's just bam. Here's your your graded card right off the top. Beckett, 8.5. Wilson, Betamit for the Braves. Centering, 9.5. Corners are 9. Edges are 9. Surface is 8. Number 1286 of 2001. I don't really do graded cards. Um, so, and since we kind of got dealt a raw hand this evening, I felt like because of the tops, we're going to random this off. We'll random this off to everybody. All you guys saying rigged, you just forfeited your chance. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, there's our five packs. Bunch of cardboard. And styrofoam. You can see nothing else there. Just had to make the box look nice and big. Retail packs, five cards per pack. It's a 150 card set, 100 regular cards, 50 rookies, all numbered to 2001. Parallel variation, our prominence are numbered to 125. Rookie prominence are numbered to 75. Derek Jeter Monumental Moments are numbered to 2,000. Seal of Approval are 1 in 18 packs. And then the Diamond Cuts memorabilia cards are 1 in 36. So good luck, everybody.
Oh yeah, I save I save that stuff for packing packing materials. Yep, you're right. So we made a big hoopla about the about the Cardinals, but maybe we'll still get a base pool holes. Roll Mondesi for Toronto. That's the first card out of the pack. Not too bad looking card. The whole authority logo, like a seal of approval. These are sticking to you, but nothing, nothing like we just saw. Andrew Jones, Braves. Junior Spivey, Diamondbacks. John Olaru, Mariners. The Floyd Marlins. And there's the back if we didn't look at them. Has stats for their best game in 2000. A little bit of bio. Greg Vaughn, Devil Rays. Shannon Stewart, Blue Jays. Lance Berkman for the Astros. Bobby Abreu for the Phillies. And Scott Rowland for the Phillies. Hey, I found a Tim Hudson prominence parallel the other day from this set. Well, we got some color coming up here, so we got something. Jermaine Dye for the Athletics. Barry Larkin for the Reds. I bet you that's why Chris Reed bought in. So hopefully that's a new card for him. And nice. Seal of Approval. Tony Gwynn. That's a nice card. Not serially numbered or anything, but it's a pretty cool insert. Mike Sweeney. I like him. And Mr. Tom Glavin. Garcia Parra for the Red Sox. Jeff Jenkins for the Brewers. Rondell White, Cubs. Bobby Higginson, Tigers. And Pedro for the Red Sox. Final, uh, final pack. Raphael for call. Mark Grace, D backs. Troy Gloss, Angels. Jason Kendall, Pirates. And Al Leiter for the Mets. No Jeter time, sorry. But you did get a nice Gwen insert. All right.
I will do a uh, video tomorrow um, where I can have time to input everybody's uh, names um, to do the drawing for the graded card. And uh, just because I'm frustrated over the tops um, situation, I will probably be going through my boxes and filling out some of you, uh, some of you guys with some extra cards. I may even go into some of my, my other things other than just base cards so I can get you guys something else um, to hopefully lessen the blow for the uh, disappointment that the 97 tops box was. So uh, just my way of saying, I'm sorry, even though that is a risk that we, that we take. All right. So next week, real quick, I know it's not my fault, but I, um, you know, I don't really advertise skunk protection or whatever, but I, I just, I, I won't, I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to go home with something good. Uh, with, you know, with something and, you know, damage cards. And eh, that ain't no fun. Next week, um, I've already shown one of the boxes. If you're on Twitter, you, you've already seen it. I'm super excited about it. Um, while I didn't have a lot of selection to choose from um, this earlier this week when I stopped by the shop, um, I was excited to see that they still had this in their locked cabinet. Um uh, they had some tops unique uh, about a month ago when I was went through there with my wife, and I should have bought it then, but uh, you know I didn't. I was hoping that would be there. It was gone. Uh, but they had this. It was not on my radar, but I did some searching while I was on the did some research, I should say, when I was on the. Uh, on my phone while I was in the store and I came to the conclusion that this should be a fun break. 2004 Donruss World Series or World Series Souvenirs, I, I guess is technically the name. Um, there are 24 packs. There are six cards per pack and there are five hits in the box five autographs and or memorabilia cards honoring postseason superstars in every box. Um, if you go to the trading card database or baseball cardpedia and take a look at the checklist, if you're not familiar with those sites, you really need to be. Even if you don't use trading card database to do trades like, like we've talked about in the past, if you just use it for their checklist feature, there are a ton of inserts, parallels, hits of Hall of Fame players to, to you know, at the time, obviously, current players. Um, it says historic insert featuring pieces of game used World Series memorabilia number to 100 or less. Um, okay, that's the World Series souvenirs. That's what it was talking about. Um, there are there are a ton of possibilities in this box when you when the post goes up i'll have some sample images like i have been doing of some of the things but it's just a sample if i did a sample image of every parallel set or every insert set holy crap it take me forever just to get the post up so that's box number one um and we're gonna have to do this I think we're going to have to do this on Thursday next week. Uh, I know that uh, I hate having to flip, flip, flip back and forth um, from our normal Friday night time slot, but um, I'm going to the beach next weekend um, to celebrate my aunt's birthday. And they have a tendency of coming over to the house. My mom lives at the beach. Um, they have a tendency of coming over and staying late. So I'm afraid if I try to take this with me and do it from the beach, from Myrtle Beach next weekend, that 
I may not be able to do it at 10 o'clock. I may have to wait later or scrub it all together. So let's just do it Thursday night while I'm at home before I head out on Friday afternoon. So this will be a, um, I'll get this post. I will post this. Um, it'll still go up on Monday, um, but we'll be breaking on Thursday. So quicker turnaround time. So grab the teams that you want or, you know, team or teams. I, I may or may not, um, you know, there won't be a lot of discounts because this box was not cheap. It wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't really cheap either. So there won't be a whole lot of discounting on the teams, unfortunately. Um, and the teams might be a dollar or two higher than what I usually try to do for you guys. Um, I think the, the minimum on this is going to be about five bucks, six bucks. Um, six to eight, I think, is going to be the average for, for most of the teams. But I feel like you'll get um, some better base cards and you got some really good chances at some really cool, you know, other cards. So, yeah, jo Joseph says that he thinks it's worth it. I hopefully everybody else will agree. Um, so we will just, uh, you know what? No, we're going to do two boxes. We'll do two next week. other box that we will feature next week is a 18 pack box of 1999 upper deck MVP. Uh, this was a special request, um, from Joey Negro, um, a Dodgers fan. So any other Dodgers fans, you, you you probably will have competition on this box. Um, this is, again, this is one of those retail blasters that they did back in the day. Um, it says three added packs, but there's 18 packs. Um, this one is not factory sealed, so it's not 18 packs plus three packs. It's just straight up 18 packs. The packs are sealed. They've not been sorted. I, I got it from a reputable seller, but... Uh, the bonus is gone, but it's going to be 18 packs of 1999 Upper Deck MVP. So, look for the randomization for our graded authority card on Monday. We'll have signups for these go up. And we'll break on Thursday night at 10 p.m. Yep, there were there were autos in the 99 MVP. I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, you can research that. See if that's going to be something you're going to want to jump in to. But thanks again, guys, for staying up late. My uh, laptop battery's dying, and so is my energy. But I will uh, catch you next Thursday night here on the channel. Check the Facebook group this week for more information on these. And if anybody does want shipping, I, I do owe um, one of you guys... Um, I'm having a brain block. Um, but you know who you are. You've already requested shipping. I'll get busy after I get cards sorted and I'll get your cards packaged up um, for shipment this upcoming week. If anybody else needs anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Facebook, Twitter, flywheels at yahoo.com. We'll catch you again Thursday night. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay safe.